mimi nataka kusema pia i had this condition before bipolar condition ni kama hereditary factor in our family my daughter also had it but tume endelea na medicine my doctor is a psychiatrist called dr kigamwa so what tunaenda boy child man nobody cares about boy child but i'll be the first one so i'm starting then mheshimiwa songo has joined me baba kimani has joined me lawrence has joined me and you guys have joined me so lazima mtu aanze we have very many agencies looking after girl child but boy child is being ignored and without the money in the society there's a lost society so i decided because everybody was sharing pictures and videos of kimani people oh my god msaidieni this is so bad oh my god others making fun of him others clicking uh posting for views but it's not going to change anything so i decided to be the change that i want to see and that is why we're here and how do you feel when you see people trying to criticize you and asema as much as obin and asaidia yeah why should he record okay the reason why we're recording basically is uh, for accountability Number one, we were raising money, so people have to know where the money is going. Secondly, for awareness. If we don't record, there's another boy in Kisumu, in Mombasa, in Kikuyu, anywhere, who might be going through the same problem, who or also might be having friends when you're Zafanya and get the same problem. If we don't record, they'll not know. What we are doing basically, we are disseminating uh, information. To me come, to me fika, to come eh, Kimani had an alcohol problem or had a drug problem or had this. When you talk about it, it makes you talk about it, makes them talk about it. Na mwanakuwa, eh, mumeona ebu tu sijaribu. But if you don't talk about it, kwa tuzi lapana. For example, my youths, you say, eh, bangi, no bangi simbaya. Boru naipika kome meditetu, merelaxu, meshiba, nini, nini. But ugekana baba Kimani, he thinks different because he has seen different. But if he didn't talk about it, kwa tuzi liniaje, meditation, bro. Unapiga yako polite na relax. Ikilipukia umsee, zake yuzu kwa zimemshika tu. But ujaingi hapa ndani yeo siptali. We were there last time with Baba Kimani. What we saw there, a lot of young people. Unambiwa drug, drug, drug. See so you are here? Yes, you yes, know, sure. majority wako hapa because of? Drugs. Which drug? Bangi. Alcohol, Bangi? Cigarette, alcohol, Chavis, cigarette, Chavis. Even Mira. Even Mira. So is this a movement you started? Okay. Yes, I am beginning a movement and I'm hoping that wanaume wote watani join because wanaume sio kwa ile shida ya kuchekeleana kama sio yako. But wanasema huko kiona mwenzako ananyolewa, chako lifanye vipi? Tia maji. Wanaume sio kwa zile niaje the same way and I always talk about gender based violence and mental wellness. And I always say gender based violence si mwanaume tu kupiga dem ni pia dem kupiga mwanaume. Basi haya tukiona mtani leo mimi nikipiga kofi na dem. Wasiwa na chakila sema chekiwe nyana pigwa na dem. But mimi nikipiga dem kofi everything goes to So that's what I'm talking about. For wanaume tuanze kuongea. Tuanze kusema si pia ni binadamu. We also need the attention, we need the support, we need the love, we need the care and we also need the information to know what is wrong. We are not perfect. We are human beings. We make mistakes. But if I talk about it and if I'm going through a problem, you don't laugh about it. You don't laugh at me, but una kama unaambia ni bro, eh hapa mpota kidogo tusongee hivi kidogo, we are going to have a better society. So it's a movement and I'm hoping that we'll work the journey together. Can I ask you from Washmo? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. My name is Leon Lidigo from Nation. Yes, Leon. Um before President Uru Kenyatta left, we used to have a mental health task force, yes. which is no longer functioning, uh -huh. number one. Uh -huh. Number two, the Ministry of Health, uh, Department for Mental Health, does not even have a head. He resigned. Uh -huh. We're even struggling to get comments from the Ministry of Health on what they've been doing in regards to mental health in the country. So as much as we are talking about awareness, is our system failing us? Uh, I don't think that the system is failing us. Uh, when somebody is not there, definitely we have some other guys in uh, acting capacity, so that should not be a reason for us not uh, performing this particular sector. We've seen here the administrators, the doctors in charge. Actually, we've come here for uh, a follow-up case. Uh, I was at Obina's show. Many guys go there for peer exercise. Actually, I normally don't give a false promise. In I may say in politics. Uh, I want to give you a very good example. Ten years ago, we had a, a very bad case from Mombasa. Uh, the terror attack on the church where a baby was shot on the head. Today, I'm with that baby, ten years down the line, and I'm still taking a uh, good care of that particular baby. So this is the same case, the reason why I'm here. Um, Obina raised 
Kimani Mbogo Askes and our sister uh, Eunice. I'm here to do uh, a thorough follow up on that. Uh, we promise to clear the medical bills and maybe transfer the patient to uh, another rehabilitation center in Mombasa. By that, I don't mean that Madare doctors have a kazi, no. No, 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 no. We have kazi, actually, to meskia from the dad that Kimani Mbugwa is due for uh, discharge in a week's time. So Kumanisha and I improve na, na, na chance yake na, and I Our sister Eunice, Pia, we have heard she's due for discharge today. So Labda, Pia, kuenda maali kuna condition of environment, Pia nasaidia kwa hii magonjwa. Mina raka kusama Pia, I had this condition before, bipolar condition, ni kama hereditary factor in our family. My daughter also had it, but to me, and the medicine, my doctor is a psychiatrist called Dr. Kigamwa. So, what will end up for checkups and everything? So, he is to kufanya PR nayo, I'm to enjoy while what will undergo that particular condition. No, your condition, when you cool down, Vizuri, now for the doctors who are psychiatrists, you will be okay. I was once a, a patient, yeah, 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 bipolar. So, we are here also to encourage the family, Baba K, uh, Kim. Family are units uh, were quite strong. These are common things, this normal part of, of, of our daily uh, life. Thank you. Thank you. you are expected for standing for any political seat, but despite all that, you still have the, the, you see the kindness to help people. Uh, maybe can you tell us what helps you to be kind to people and also to. Okay, I'm not here for politics. Member 2027 will talk because I don't want Kaikua, I'm capitalizing on the situation right now at the moment. I'll not talk about politics. That is, we always say gold time is the best in politics. So when 2027 20, reaches, to the to But for now, let's deal with the issue of patients. Don't let us not politicize this issue of our patients. We are here to uh, fulfill the promise that I made during the Obinas show. Is kaya songo ni lida wa piara malida wa mavipindre. I'm not here for vipindre. I'm here to help. Vile nilikuwa nime, nime promise hapo mbeleni. So, kwa another forum, I'll be able to answer that. But for now, let's deal with the, the issue that has brought us here. Yeah. Obina, yep. I have a question for you, considering you're a seasoned journalist. Eh? Okay. Actually, I was Obina's intern. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Obina, um, borrowing from Kimani's lesson, are we, as journalists in our line of work, prone to mental health and substance abuse issues? Yes, we are. Band, that, there's been that discussion that we are not really talking about. Yes. So journalists are, uh, let me use the word high risk, uh, because of the work we do. We work under so much pressure. Like today morning, I think I posted this thing about 10 minutes to the time we're here. But I'm getting, I'm finding people at the gate, I'm like, oh, you're okay. So that was too quick. That's too pressure. Then people expect you to deliver. And the journalists... Uh, life, uh, journalism life, we are, me and you are coming from, from radio and newspaper and TV. We know the pressure that was there from your bosses to everybody to deliver. And then sometimes the remuneration is not worth the whole hassle. Then also backlash online, people expect you to live a certain way. They forget that journalists are also just human beings. So sometimes, you know, when a man lacks purpose, they distract themselves with pleasure. So that's why you find umevutwa job ama una hassle ama wiki order yapatiwe any report kufanya ni nini what do you do mnakunywa wapi wacha nipitie base mnapiga jaba wapi wacha nipitie base so we distract ourselves with pleasure then now bad company inaendelea leo kesho then unajipata umeshakuwa addict na umezoea and now that one leads into other things as well so journalist a one and also we have other uh, careers as well but because I'm a journalist I'll talk about that one now part of something that was said during your show Something that came out clearly was the fact that uh, our friend joined the media industry when he was so young. Eh? Yeah. His age factor and exposure to that media kind of environment another risk factor? And how can that be addressed? No, age is not really a factor to be a journalist. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, I will talk about personal uh, self-esteem because we have journalists who started at a young age and they never changed. We have ones who started at a very older age and they changed. It depends with the person, your personality, how strong is your personality. Then how weak are you as a person? Because we have people who have been talking about it, but when I say it, I don't know what to I don't know what to whatever I post. So age is not really a factor, but your friends, the company you keep, then also your personal well-being. 
your personality and your self esteem there are people who want to fit in we we know the people we've lost because nataka mm. kufit in lakini mwe shapa pia wewe unaingia kwa life yake nini umeenu umechukua it happens with many other people so age is not really a factor yes but what what i really want us to do how we can help is to guide mimi nimekono naenda lion na kwambia lion ni aje ni wrong ni aje btg ni hapa ni nini nini ni aje spm ni ni aje hapa change hapa hivi but pia wengine pia wasikie because naweza kuambia ndio lakini sikio la kufa mheshimiwa back to you a bit yes as governor part of the evolution was to democratize healthcare to mashinani oh. and that includes mental health yes we've not seen that happening there is a lot of uh laxity especially the people who are traveling even all the way from very far places yes. to this place just to access mental health services what do you have to tell them because you might save kimani today oh. but there are a million other oh. kimani out there, yes. out there oh. who also need services oh. Oh. and functionally speaking the evolution seems to have failed oh. 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 at this point actually health is one of the sectors that was developed like in for instance I'll talk about Nairobi county when I was the governor we mean like a very big rehabilitation center up city park we have one those one which was under construction actually i forgot to mention kwa show yako okay. a very big rehabilitation center uh, ruai ambayo inaendelea we are one also in makadara kuna nyingine dagoreti so we normally tuna what especially walevi what want the influence of drugs we normally bring them together to our like kwa rehabilitation centers we had our own psychiatrist from our Uh, county hospitals will go and every time well, at least uh, t- twice a day jioni usiku walikuwa na visit to na interact na wao a lot even myself i used to to, to visit those hospitals frequently pelaka chakula kuangalia ashida tofauti tofauti so my appeal in regards to your question other governors should emulate that wafate hiyo mfano badala watu ku travel all the way from mashinani kuja madhare hospital Uh, and by doing so we'll be decongesting this hospital because i'm sure there are so many patients kwa kwa hizi mawards kwa hivyo uh, governors mashinani wakiendelea kuangalia hiyo mambo ingine ya healthcare um, for instance do we see all governors wa maeka matanti hospitals and not only uh, mental mambo ya, ya, ya mental health but unaona mimi niliweka paka a renal unit in mamalusi and, uh, and, and, and 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 bagathi we opened a renal unit there we are doing dialysis we we did the first kidney transplant at at, at uh, bagathi when i was the, uh, the governor kwa hivyo health was devolved na uh, devolution in uh, leadership led down to the grass, grass, grass roots, not only in terms of health in terms of all other factors security and mambo mingi mingi so that we give services to our people Aya sasa tunaweza fanya kitu mm-hmm. metuleta? Asanteni. Asanteni.